Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make a simple Arduino quad in pattern. The component count is few. You will need an Arduino. You can use the Uno, Nano, Pro Mini, or Micro, but whichever you have. You also need four resistors, two for the drive and two for the gate distance. All the connections are shown. You need two optocopras. You can use the PC 817C. They are very common optocopras. And you need two power MOSFETs. You can use the IRFZ44, but I prefer using the IRF 205 since they can handle more than twice the current. You also need a transformer with a center tab primary and some connectors. All the connections are shown. So I'll be using the, the Arduino digital pins D5 and D6 to drive the MOSFETs. So what happens is let's say D5 is on, so current to through through R3 and through the internal infrared LED of the optocopper U2. This will cause the internal transistor to conduct and this will basically connect the VCC which is 12 volts in this case to the gate of the MOSFET Q2 and it will conduct. This will allow current to flow from VCC through the center tap of the transformer through this one half winding through Q2 and to ground. So when the 5 goes low and the 6 goes high, the second optocopper turns on Q1 and Q1 will conduct the current to flow through the other way around through Q1 and to ground. It's a push pull inverter project. I'll just show you the code right now. So this is the simple Arduino code. So you begin by declaring the set drive pins digital pin 5 and 6. Then in the point setup you set both pins as output. Then in the loop you introduce a delay of 1 millisecond. Then Write the first FET high, this will turn on the first MOSFET, then delay for 19 milliseconds, then turn it low. So if you look at it, the 1 and 19, they make 20 milliseconds. Okay, then you go, you turn on the second FET, you can treat these pro properties to alter the output frequency. Like the parameters are shown, the frequency should be about 50 Hz, if I'm not wrong. So then you need to export the binary as a compiled binary so that the Proteus can read the code and upload the virtual Arduino. To upload the project you just double click on the Arduino, then locate the hex file. In this case it is this one standard and click open. It will be automatically be loaded to the Arduino and basically that's all about it. The PCB for the project groups are shown. And this is the finished review version. It's a very tiny board. Everything is as shown. Here you have the input battery, this is the Arduino Nano. This is the first and second of the copras. These are the resistors. The, out the power MOSFETs and the three connections to the transformer. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and tutorials and click the notification bell to get updated immediately when I upload new videos. I wish you a nice time.